go back to your youth. You go back to high school, and uh, if you're in a big high school, there had to be somebody with a Corvette. I always consider the first American sports car to be the Corvette. Uh, the, it was the cars from Europe, the uh, Triumphs and MGs, they really led the way. We have to have our icons, we have to have our racing icons. I think my dad just followed that car ever since it, its victory in 1960. It, it was a passion of his to own that car, uh, and he very much knew all about it. I think in his heart he knew eventually he would own that car. Maybe possibility they might have the, the VIN numbers for all the 60 Corvettes at Lamar in 1960. And it comes up a guy named James Walsh out of St. Louis. The first thing I noticed it is a heavy duty brakes and suspension car. So I knew it was a car that had been raced. It was a racing car. I think he just had a dream to get the driver there, if the driver was still around, uh, 50 years later, along with the vehicle. Both his legs were swollen. And they were really swollen. And the biopsy had just come back with the diagnosis of amyloidosis. He passed away in 2004. I'm gonna get this done for him. I really wanna do this, I wanna achieve it. Get the car back to Le Mans. If John Fitch, God willing, is still here, I wanna make sure he's there as well. fulfilled his father's wish and done him so well.